Hi fellows! I hope you had a great June 2023. At Praxinus, we enjoyed the Mipha in Annecy to demo our plugin Iliad to draw on Texture 2D in Unreal Engine, and our plugin Epos to easily create cameras, planes, and shots to make 2D, 3D storyboards, and layouts in Unreal Engine. And we also took advantage of the Mipha in Annecy to present, for the first time ever, our software Odyssey. But what's Odyssey, you may ask? Well, Odyssey is the very project that motivated us to found Praxinus in late 2018. Odyssey is an animation software powered by Unreal Engine, which combines the advantages of 3D real-time technology with the spontaneity of traditional 2D animation. We've been working on this project since the beginning of our adventure, and in the end, our plugins Iliad and Epos were actually prototypes for Odyssey. If you want to know more about the project, the ID, our difficulties and our success, there's a 45-minute long video on the FMX channel recorded in May 2022. The link is in the description. So let's focus on Odyssey and let me show you the current state of work. First of all, Odyssey is a standalone software mostly designed for 2D artists. Contrary to Epos and Iliad, which are plugins for Unreal Engine, Odyssey will come with its own launcher and its own installation process. No need to download and install Unreal Engine, install Visual or Xcode, install plugins, activate them for each project. Everything is much simpler and lighter for anyone who is not already an Unreal Engine user. But even if it's a standalone software, Odyssey remains compatible with Unreal Engine projects and any assets coming from the marketplace. Since Odyssey is targeted for the animation industry, it has its own templates browser to create specific animated projects. As an example, if you create a 2D animation project, you're going to create an empty and lit level with an animation asset already open to let you draw immediately. And if you don't understand what I've just said, it simply means 2D animators won't have to bother about any 3D stuff. At the moment, the animation asset will only allow raster-based animation with a simple light table, as you can see in this video. It is planned in a roadmap to improve significantly the light table in the coming month and also include vector-based drawing tools. Yes, vector-based tools! Not to make puppet animations, not yet, but to allow the artist to draw vectorized shapes which can be easily modified. These tools are already working in a texture to the asset, so all we have to do now is to replicate these tools in the animation asset. Thanks to the vector-based tools, we've also been able to create a palette asset which basically work as an array of index colors. There is still some work to do, but on the long term, it will be very useful, especially if you need to change the color on a character or an object. What's about mixing 2D and 3D together? Any 2D animation made with Odyssey can be easily placed in a 3D context, either as an animation to be played in loop, or as an actor to be played at a specific moment into a level sequence. 2D animations can even be assigned to a 3D mesh to make animated textures. And obviously, the mechanism to create 2D, 3D storyboards and layouts offered by Epos remains in Odyssey. We will probably add later a way to convert storyboards into animation assets to offer a smoother workflow from pre-production to actual production. So, what's next? Odyssey will enter a beta phase soon. The beta version will be available for free and for several months. Any profiles, and I insist, any profiles are welcome. 2D animators, 3D animators, technical directors, students, teachers, storyboard artists, film directors, and even hobbyists. There is no specific conditions, but please take in consideration Odyssey needs your feedback to be improved. To make this beta program a friendly event, you will also be encouraged to join our Discord server to share any ID or comment. We will organize monthly meetings in French and English to present you the updates on Odyssey and get an exchange with you all. And again, the link is in the description. And if you haven't applied yet to the beta program, you can still do it here. As soon as we will be ready to start it, you will receive an email asking you to validate your account on Proxinos website in order to download Odyssey. Don't worry, we will do a tutorial about it to guide you. 
thank you all for watching this video. Feel free to share it among your fellow artists and don't forget to subscribe to our channel to follow all the future updates about Odyssey. And if you really love what we do, you can also find us on LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter, Reddit and Instagram. Pick up your favorite one. Take care and see you soon. Bye!